Hello again, everyone. Here we are on the right side of the fuselage, starting the process over for getting everything masked up and ready to prime the remaining inside of the fuselage, as you can see here. And I'm just using a uh, self-etching uh, rattle can primer. Um, you know, with the right preparation, it, it adheres very well. I tried scratching it off and haven't really had any of that issue. So satisfied with the results of that. And then here we are, uh, you know, just deburring the Longeron and then priming all of the other parts uh, that go on the side of the right side of the fuselage that we didn't get to earlier. Cleaning the skin, breaking the edges, uh, filing everything down, making sure we get a smooth transition point. And then again, just prepping the skin for, uh, for that prime. As you saw with the other skin, you got 10 nut plates you need to install on and then everything gets back on the fuselage and ready to be um, riveted up. Starting with the cherry rivets and then moving on to your typical pop rivets that you use on the rest of the plane for the most part. My son decided to join and help in. Uh, if you didn't know, I have twin boys. Um, as you can see there, they're trying to get involved with uh, with the build. <laughs> they like to play with my drill, and uh, one of them is obsessed with Clecos. He even knows how to say Cleco, which is scary. Um, he only heard that word once and came out and decided to uh, ask me where the Clecos were. So. So riveting it up the laundry on, got the side skins riveted up for the most part, and um, now that uh, doubler and the tripler plate, I guess. Just getting everything cleaned up here, and I made a mistake when riveting the rivet gun slipped off of one of the rivets and then in the side skin, so that's what you saw the hammer there for. I was just kind of straightening that out. And just picking up all the rivet uh, rivet heads that we uh, popped off and again the area cleaned up this is a pretty funny one so i put a new blade in my bandsaw that i had bought uh, a while ago actually it was a blade i bought a long time ago and the blade for some reason was not cutting any of the metal um so i took a closer look at it and lo and behold the uh, uh the blade edge was uh, upside down <laughs> So I had to take that out and put the old one back in, but um, here we are. So the vents, um, the sliders for the vents have to be filed out so the screw fits loosely in them. And the way I achieved that was I didn't have a file small enough to fit in the little, sl the little sl uh, slots. So I went ahead and got a drill bit that was very close to the same size as the slot and used that as kind of a file to uh, to get that edge down. and make it a smooth um, a smooth point for the vents to, f to flow through. And getting the vents mounted on the fuselage, starting with the left side, a relatively easy process. Um, everything goes together really nice, so no issues throughout this. And we're cutting up the uh, the hinges that will mount on the front, that the cowl will mount to on the front of the fuselage. Um, you have to rivet in a couple of pieces. And once that's done, that is actually, that that is the completion of the section 23. Hi everybody. So, we have completed section 23. As you can see here, we have our redneck air conditioning system installed aka the vents uh, on both sides the left and the right um, I was pretty impressed on how well how much airflow you get in the cabin when I was uh, got my demo ride in the RV 12 so these things do an amazing job of getting uh, pulling air into the cabin also what you saw we completed was uh, these hinges where the cowl will mount to on the front um, again on both the left and the right and they got those riveted up and the side skins are finished on both sides along with uh, the entire interior of the fuselage primed up so 
we will just continue to press along, moving on to section 24, which will be the rollover structure. So that's coming up next. See y'all soon.